Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is the episode 3 of the 3 episode series I've made on sleep apnea. As we all know, sleep apnea is such a vast topic that it's really impossible to talk all about it in one video. And thus, in order to make it very crisp, concise, yet detailed and comprehensive, we've made this into a 3 episode series. This one being the last one where I'm going to be talking all about what the various treatment options are available today for sleep apnea. You've just landed here and you're wondering what sleep apnea actually is, then you must watch the first part of the first episode of this series by clicking this link right here. I'll also be posting the link in the description box for those of you who missed it. And in the second episode, I've spoken about how to diagnose sleep apnea, what the probable you know, symptoms and presentations could be. So if you want to check if you're suffering from any of those signs and symptoms, and you're exhibiting those signs for sleep apnea, then please do check out the previous one or the episode two. And as far as this one is concerned, we are going to be talking all about the treatment options there are for this complex sleep disorder. Sleep apnea is a condition which if left untreated can impact your overall health and quality of life. It has been linked to things like increased chances of a stroke, uh, high blood pressure and diabetes as well. And thus it is vital that we empower ourselves with knowledge to deal with this sleep disorder effectively. But before I begin and before I dive into this subject, let me take a moment to introduce myself. I'm Dr. Upasna Gusalia, founder and head dental surgeon at iSmile Dental Clinic located in Mumbai. My channel is dedicated to addressing a lot of common health issues that a lot of us have. So please do subscribe if you want to be the best healthy version of yourselves. And don't forget to press the bell icon to get regular updates and notifications as well. And to all my subscribers and returning viewers, thank you so much for giving me all the support, love and encouragement. So if you have been diagnosed with sleep apnea and you're wondering what the treatment options are, then that's what we will be starting to discuss now. For those of you who are still unsure whether this really is sleep apnea or no, and what you are suffering with, then please do take a polysomnograph or a sleep study and help detect yourselves. I've spoken about it in the second video. So let's start with the treatment options. First thing is, for milder cases, your doctor might suggest you to undergo some lifestyle changes and make some corrective changes to your lifestyle, like ask you to quit smoking, alcohol, or in case you're taking any recreational drugs. For those of you where excessive weight gain or obesity was the reason for sleep apnea, your doctor will obviously ask you to lose some weight so that we're making sure that the airway doesn't get blocked while you're asleep and there are lesser chances for sleep apnea. The second is wearing oral jaw repositioning devices. Now, like we all know, sleep apnea occurs because the muscles at the back of your throat and neck are relaxing too much, relaxing excessively, and this causes your airway to constrict, thus pausing your breathing for brief periods of time. A lot of your oral cavity plays function and has a role to play in keeping your airway patent. So say if you have narrower jaws, if you have backwardly placed jaws, or if you have a large tongue, or maybe a combination of these as well, then you could be more susceptible to sleep apnea. So these oral repositioning devices, when worn during the night, will make sure that they keep your airway patent. They will reposition the jaws in such a way that the muscles don't relax excessively, the airway doesn't get completely blocked so that you can breathe freely and episodes of apnea do not occur. Thirdly, for patients with moderate to severe sleep apnea, what we routinely advise is using a CPAP machine or a continuous positive airway pressure machine. So this is a device that has to be worn by you when you're trying to sleep, be it during the daytime or be it during the night time. Part of the device consists of a mask which has to be fitted onto your nose and mouth. And this will maintain a continuous positive airway pressure like the name suggests, which keeps your airway patent. There will be a gush of air flowing through your nose and your mouth into your throat, thus keeping patency of the airway from your nose to your lungs. And this will improve your quality of life greatly. I know initially it takes a while to get used to the device. It looks really difficult to use, cumbersome and something like, oh, how am I going to fall asleep wearing this? But once you get a hang of it, once you get used to it, this has been a game changer. Patients have completely transformed their life and sleep pattern using these CPAP machines. I personally like the devices to be fine-tuned to each patient's individual requirements and needs. 
from mild to moderate to severe every patient has a different and distinct requirement so do not rely on something which you know you can just buy over the counter it's best that you talk to your healthcare provider about your condition and then get something which is best suited for you after using the cpap machine also if there are patients who have not been able to get control over their apnea and the episodes of apnea are still frequent and recurrent then you might need some surgical intervention as well so what i mean by surgical intervention is doctors will take off and remove some excessive tissue from your mouth and the surrounding areas which is causing and leading to this narrowing of your airway it could be enlarged tonsils that need some surgical correction it could be your enlarged tongue which requires some amount of tissue removal or alternately sometimes doctors have also done some surgical repositioning of your jaws in such a way that your airway doesn't tend to get blocked and you get lesser and lesser prone to episodes of apnea so all this falls under surgical intervention but you do not need to worry about it straight away because this is the extreme last resort or the last option that we need to do if your earlier options haven't worked for you but most likely for moderate to severe cases we've seen that cpap machine works wonders and patients are able to have that great health and great quality of life just by using that machine alone while trying to sleep so that's all about the treatment options that i wanted to speak about in this video i hope that with the help of this video you've empowered yourself with deeper understanding and knowledge to treat this disease and disorder effectively and that you can soon be on a way to a good healthier life please do give this video a thumbs up if you've liked what you heard and don't forget to share it with those who you feel might benefit from it subscribe for more such valuable insights and also like i say always stay healthy sleep well and keep smiling